Hey guys, welcome back to another FTP video. On this one I'm going to show you how you can keep a certain number of items in, uh, in your AE system by smelting them. For example stone and glass is one of those. Uh, I'm going to use a induction furnace for this purpose. You can use pretty much any furnace you want. But this is the fast, fastest so I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm going to power it from below because we need I will give it some re redstone power from below because we need all the room that we have or can have <clears throat> and let's get this heated up so a uh, way to bring items from uh, your AE system into the induction furnace is using these precision export buses and you can define what item you want to export from your AE system into a machine so going to use so that we want to uh, export sand if we throw in some sand and power this uh, connect it to our AE system it's going to st start drawing out sand from our AE system into the induction furnace let's grab those and if we have a have a uh, basic import bus here on the on the back side or any any side actually you can import the items from the induction furnace back into our AE system so it's going to draw out the uh, ready glass from here into our AE system here okay now we want to control the number of uh, uh, glass that we have in here so we don't want to smelt all of our sand but let's say we want to have a a stack of uh, of glass at all time uh, we can use these level emitter f emitters for that. Okay, so with these we can uh, set what item it will uh, detect. So in this case we are going to use glass. And this will emit a redstone signal at this setting if there's more than this amount of uh, glass in our system. So now there isn't, it's off. And if I throw in a, a stack Oh, it's not connected. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, now it's on because there are more than a stack of glass. But if I take a stack here, that will turn off and sand can flow through. If we throw in some sand here, we can see that it's uh, going in here. Now the thing is that this is going to smelt more than the 64 glass because the induction furnace can draw out a lot more items before the this uh, level emitter kicks in so you are going to have more than 64 of, of glass uh, if I throw in all my glass in here it's still going to oh I forgot that <laughs> uh, we need to set this so that uh, the precision export bus is active without signal so now it's act uh, there's a signal controlling it it's not going to draw out any more sand from here into the induction furnace. It, there are more than 64 glass, so this is turning it off. Uh, and if we want, we can use this induction furnace for another uh, item. So let's set up another thing in here. Let's say that we want to have 64 glass at all times. We set this to cobble and active without signal. And then we throw in some cobble and it's going to smelt it into a stone and if we throw all my stone in there that will turn on because there are more than 64 stone in my uh, AE system and this is not going to export any more items into the induction furnace any more cobble okay so this is a uh, quite simple way to control the uh, smelting of your uh, certain items or the amount of, of your of your items and there's room for one more in, in this setup how I use it it's on the top side here and you can smelt for example hmm, what what would I say I would to charcoal and always have a stack or more of charcoal in your AE system and of course you would set this to 
active without signal and set the charcoal here and, and the number there. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this uh, video. Hopefully you find it useful and liked it and if you did, do leave a like or a comment and uh, I'll see you on the next one.